Hi, Anurag. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you as well. All right. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions today. Really nice. Um, really appreciate you taking your time to come out here. Um, so the first thing I wanted to know about your project. So you're working on Avail. So could you tell us a little bit more about what Avail does? Yeah. I think um, so Avail uh, really is this um, infrastructure for the roll-up centric future mm -hmm. uh, essentially. Uh, so you can um, think that in uh, two, three years ago, um, what has happened is uh, blockchains actually started evolving mm -hmm. from being a very monolithic sort of architecture. Yep. Right? So if you look at Solana, Ethereum, so these were single chains with uh, multiple apps on them. Yes. But like around 2020, Ethereum moved to the roll-up centric roadmap. Mm -hmm. And what that meant was that instead of having just one big chain, you need, uh, need to move to an architecture where there's this single base layer and on top of which there can be multiple chains on top. Okay. And so this is like uh, evolution of how blockchain architecture scales. Mm -hmm. um, and so we realized in 2020 that uh, mm, for the roll-up centric future, if we ha uh, had to move into that and it's actually very uh, apparent that this is the case because if you've seen the last three, four years, we have hundreds of roll-ups now. Yeah. Um, and this is only going to increase. And so in back in 2020, when we started Avail within Polygon actually, um, uh, we we said that we will build this infrastructure for scaling rollups in mm -hmm. general, and so we st that necessarily goes into you know kind of getting into low level infra such as you know like data availability, yep. ordering and stuff. So Avail's first product is Avail DA, which is this scalable state of the art uh, data availability focus layer. Yep. Um, which implements um, something called data availability sampling. Okay. So this is uh, very important to kind of ensure that we have scalable data availability throughput, which rollups can then use in abundance. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course, Ethereum um, has a number of rollups, and but it has limited data availability throughput at the moment. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ethereum is also implementing its own data availability focused roadmap, but uh, it's called Dank Sharding. Okay. But it's going to take some time to implement. So, uh, but rollups are not going to wait around for that, right? Like, so that's 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 generally where Avail comes in, uh, Avail DA, and so Avail really is infrastructure for scaling rollups. Got uh, it. So if you we are moving into this world of tens of thousands of rollups, probably mm -hmm. millions. Yep. And we want to support uh, uh, that play. Um, but we don't end there. Um, because we have this scalable data availability layer, uh, what happens is that we end up enabling these tens of thousands of rollups. Mm -hmm. But then we also need to uh, figure out a secure way for these rollups to communicate with each other. Yep. Because we are actually taking a, a system and breaking it into multiple parts. Yes. And so there needs to be some credible, secure way to uh, for these rollups to connect to each other if required. Got it. And so on top of Avail DA, because this is like a, all these rollups share this DA layer, mm -hmm. we are also able to build interoperability rails on top, uh, which we kind of call as Avail Nexus, which is, you know, kind of sits between uh, rollups and Ethereum in the sense that they can settle on uh, Avail Nexus or verify their proofs on that. So it's basically not getting into too much technical specifics, yeah. but it's basically... Uh, Avails uh, scales rollups mm -hmm. and then also builds infra to connect these rollups together. Got it. Okay, that's very helpful. Um, out of curiosity, how different is Avail DA compared to the other DA products in the market? Mm. Um, so, see, technically, data availability or DA is not necessarily a new thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's always been a part of blockchains. Yep. Every blockchain has uh, data availability by default. Yes. Um, the main innovation that you know like avail brings to the table is this first of all the demarcation of execution and data availability uh, from a blockchain so we uh, avail da doesn't have any execution mm -hmm. uh, so and then basically the implementation of data availability sampling allows us to kind of increase data throughput very um, very very much but also allowing for easy verification mm. so that's that's really the um, main thing like any blockchain can actually increase the throughput the DA throughput yep. in general but you need data availability sampling or easy verifiability of uh, data availability in order to build anything uh, let's say interoperability or you know things like that on top 
right like so that is the main differentiator between avail and other uh, blockchains um in general we are actually i think the only um, project in the ecosystem which implements uh, data validity sampling based on val- validity proofs mm. or zk proofs zk proofs yes yeah and so that is like a super power uh, to and ena- if you want to enable these rollups to talk to each other because mm-hmm. if you want when you want to talk to each other uh, these rollups talk to each other you need this combination of zk ordering proofs or the data validity proofs but also uh these zk execution proofs these are two different kind of proofs but yeah okay okay yeah. so if you have to put all of this that you said in layman terms right how what analogy do you have see um in general uh, i like to uh, give this example where uh, of apps on the internet right yep. if you look at look at apps on the internet uh, they are not on all the apps on the internet are not on one single big super computer yep Right, like they are on different servers and they scale independently based on demand. Yes. Uh, so, like on the internet, you can't, you cannot think of like getting all the apps in the world be hosted on one server, however big it is. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's the same analogy I apply to this. Mm-hmm. Like, mono, the blockchain industry started with a monolithic chain architecture, but it's not. Uh, it's not feasible for all apps to live on just one chain 100%. so we have to yeah. move into a world of different chains for example or yeah. a world of different servers i would say mm-hmm. so rollups are really verifiable servers mm-hmm. so just as apps on the internet don't live on one single big supercomputer they are you know like residing in different servers scale independently the rollup centric feature is the same and avail kind of enables that feature yeah um so i like to kind of think of it is that uh, it's we are somewhere been between in the evolution of blockchain infrastructure where uh, like big monolithic pieces are being broken down into smaller uh, bits and then like as with what happened with the internet right like so if you kind of go to an amazon for example yeah. today uh, the user doesn't really get to understand the immense complexity that is going on behind the scenes yeah So when you are kind of making it, doing an order, like Amazon is doing a lot of things in the backend, right? Like mm-hmm. it's so there's an Amazon microservice, there is a Stripe microservice, there's a Visa microservice, there is a logistics microservice. Mm-hmm. So all of these different services it keeps talking to. So the moment you kind of order a product of Amazon, like there is a bunch of calls happening when you want to pay. Uh, Amazon doesn't handle that. It sends a request to another server, which yeah. is let's say the Visa microservice mm-hmm. or the Stripe microservice, for example. It sends that response back. You put in your details. It validates the response, payment, and so on. Right? Mm-hmm. Like so, yes. something as simple as ordering something off the internet, like for the user, it is very easy. Yeah. But in the backend, there is a lot of complex things yeah. happening. The same thing. Uh, uh, what we are uh, seeing in blockchain is that. blockchain components will also be broken down into uh, different uh, microservices or roll up servers mm-hmm. and eventually once we build all the infra out users won't be um, be have to deal with all this complexity or the complex yeah. ux that they are which they're dealing with right now right yeah, so now. we're trying to remove that layer of complexity absolutely absolutely got it okay um so obviously another piece of the blockchain is is super important for you to secure the network right So out of um just how are you guys working with P2P right now if you can explain that to us I think uh, we've been uh, like partners uh, we've been working with P2P since you know like uh, just for context I uh, from right from my polygon days mm-hmm. uh and so P2P has been like a good uh, partner uh, in that sense on on the polygon POS chain and other endeavors and this time around when we kind of started avail uh with avail we are building this new type of blockchain l1 blockchain mm-hmm. uh and we use a certain sort of uh, consensus and um, proof of stake system that uh, supports uh, up to a thousand validators and so we wanted to have like uh, very robust uh, partners who we could work with mm-hmm. very closely um because you know like running an uh, l1 is not is not that easy you need to have like good uh, partners such as p2p for example uh, uh, in order to kind of you know ensure that the network works well absolutely yeah, yeah. okay that's cool um also one more question that i had was 
what is next for um, Avil, right? Um, what is coming up, something exciting that people can look forward to? Um, so that's one question I had. The next question I also had was, how can someone also participate in um, staking, you know, Avail? Like how, if they all they want to get involved in the ecosystem, what advice do you have for them? Yeah, yeah. so I think uh, maybe answering the first question, uh, yeah. Uh, so lots of stuff coming up. Um, we just uh, did our unification drop uh, last week. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a drop uh, that recognized the uh, efforts of um, you know the people who have contributed uh, from a code perspective to community uh, on GitHub to create all these projects. So we did a drop to developers of these uh, of various projects. For example, we also. Uh, did um, you know like uh, allocated a bunch of um, uh, the drop to uh, roll up users because you know essentially avail caters to roll ups and we want the users who are currently transacting on roll ups to mm -hmm. uh, be interested in what avail is know what avail is uh, what life changing technology avail is bringing and then you know like once roll ups start going live on roll up then to kind of you know like transact on these roll ups for example. Yeah. Um, we also have a very active community um, which helped us testing uh, the Avail uh, DA and other items for example. So, so we also included them for example and you know like a lot of other stakeholders such as you know like we gave some, some uh, of the airdrop to Polygon stickers uh, who kind of helped us um, uh, in the journey because Avail was initially uh, born within Polygon. Yeah. Uh, and of course to other stakeholders as well uh, so th that is there but you know like we are very excited for the upcoming uh, DA Avail DA mainnet as well yeah. um, and uh, there's a bunch of teams that have been working with us on testing their rollups on testnet so we hope to see them soon going live on mainnet as well mm -hmm. um, of course we are also um, you know like uh, ramping the development of, of the Avail Nexus, which is the uh, unification play for rollups, for example. So, uh, so that that development on that is going on, of course. And in general, you know, working with validators to bootstrap the network, increase the validator set, increase the staking, for example, and so on. Yeah. Um, from a staking point of view, um, so of course um, uh, there will be staking opportunities through our partners, for example. So we will have various fund trends for people who want to kind of really stake Avail mm -hmm. directly with validators. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have this thing called nomination pools yes. where you can stake to or nominate to um, a variety of validators. Yep. Um, and of co uh, there are a few projects on the liquid staking side uh, that will also help uh, people uh, delegate their stake for uh, very exciting to, yeah so those are some of the things i mean we'll have detailed tutorials on on, on our blog on our docs on youtube for example yep. uh, for people to stake easily okay lovely well um just want to say thank you for answering all these questions very patiently <laughs> um we are very excited to be working with you um avail is a very exciting project um, we've got really great investors backing them. Um, so yeah, if you guys are holding any avail tokens, it's your time to stake with us. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yep. Thanks Thank so you.